So, question 1B. In what ways do your media products use, develop, or challenge forms and conventions of real media products? So, we stayed within the London market, but especially in the London, so we focused on urban gangster crime. Um, we used other, tra um, other media products to help construct our trailer, so we used it to see the conventions and things that we could manipulate from the conventions to help us. Upon our research and planning stage, um, we looked at different trailers like Brotherhood, which challenge and developed our structure of our trailer inseparable. Our trailer inseparable, it doesn't have um, an, ex an exposition at the beginning of the trailer, however, because it will have like quick montages and then it goes back to the main storyline during the trailer. So the beginning bit is the montages and after during the trailer it goes to the Okay, it starts with the adoption scene, um, which is seen as the exposition scene, but then it rapidly changes to quick action scenes, which we see as the montage because we use Brotherhood as a template to um, for the action scenes, basically. Um, in terms of conforming to um, conforming to Brotherhood, the fast-paced movement of the trailer, which definitely conforms to film trailers like Brotherhood and the sleep Sleepless trailer, um, because we did not leave the montage, se montage scene at the very end and tailored our scenes to the, mu to the music so we can go hand in hand or synchronize. So the montage scene was very much throughout the trailer. Um, our target audience, why are we um, thought that uh, a montage scene throughout the trailer would be more acceptable because our target audience, which we researched upon our audience research, um, preferred quick, fast montage scenes rather than leave, having a huge storyline and then leaving the montage scene at the very end. Um, what we also conformed to was the, for us, we created a production logo, standard screen, and our studio logo, which was Universal, we use that because um, it's quite widely known and very professional. For character development, um, while following the gangster films conventions, we um, looked at the rise and fall of the main protagonist. We challenged this year by not having one protagonist instead of t um, said we had two. Um, this shows that um, the two um, main characters are in a position where the position of being in charge, being superior and powerful, but in two separate lives. So um, we used American Gangster Crime um, and we conformed to it by um, how black males are in a position of power and um, it doesn't fit the conventional stock types um, which is presented within American Gangster Crime. So within our trailer, Chris and El Spirito, they're both powerful. Um, however, Chris, you never see him with a gun, which um, indicates the fact that he lacks um, power, also money. So you can tell that his, um, his, his environment and his living standards are quite um, poor in, in comparison to El Spirito, who you see is very um, powerful as, he, um, as his... Um, gang chased um, Chris and attacked him and captured him. Um, we also don't focus on family problems as in the beginning of the trailer it shows um, adoption papers and the abandonment of two twins and we don't really focus on that. Cinematography, we use Brotherhood as a main influence for our action scenes such as baseball swing, running scene, um, gun scenes. We also use the same props as seen in the Brotherhood trailer such as the baseball or guns. In, however, in American Gangster, there were quite a lot of location shots, so we took this into account and we planned a day heavily based on taking location shots around London, um, predominantly Stratford, because that's where our audience would actually know the location shots that we're taking of. Um, also, we used Graham. Um, grand music in the Brotherhood trailer, like in the Brotherhood trailer, because we found that in our audience research, the majority of our target audience listen to Graham. Uh, this is because Graham is fast-paced and a UK music genre, and this can easily establish 
UK gangster crime from US gangster crime. From um, straight out of Compton, in terms of our intertitles. So, our intertitles were quite blocky, um, big white intertitles with singular names on them, and um, that's how we kind of got our inspiration from, from straight out of Compton. I also used um, Kendrick Lamar's video for Humble because of the split screen idea, because we thought it would be a good idea to establish both characters. So it helped with our cinematography, so it helped us position our characters how we need them to be and how it will still conform to our genre for um, Castle Crime.